Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, I just wanted to talk about the uh, state of the church. Um, I think we are, we are uh, sadly, we are in shambles. Um, I'm horrified by what I see about the way we are carrying on as the body of Christ. Um, I really think we got to shed off this worldly institute style of gathering together, structured in such a way as to sit under, under men and, uh, you know, and a lot allow the Holy Spirit to operate and for God to orchestrate our gatherings and that we we just move by the Holy Spirit, walk in the Spirit, and that we just allow God to be in control of our gatherings and have what is said, what He wants said and what He wants done as He orchestrates it, as He is guiding each and every member of the body. So if he wanted the, you know, the, the hand to help the foot or the foot to help the eye, whatever it may be, all the parts to work together in harmony, but that's not what has been happening. And it's, it's very sad to me. It's, and it's, uh, it's painful. And, uh, I so uh, want to just be together and have proper fellowship with people and in love and joy and peace and have understanding and be able to sit down and talk to one another and for people to be able to share with each other. Um, but it just seems like in order for that to happen is like nobody seems to be on board with the with that uh desire for that it's like they but they get on board with these institution style uh gatherings where oh it's it's to me it's it's dreadful and and where there's false teaching that takes place and that uh and when the false teaching takes place um it's like everybody feels like they're afraid to say anything and then if they do say something then everybody thinks that they shouldn't and they should all just be quiet and just <laughs> allow the false teaching to happen like it's crazy and uh it's really unfortunate and it's really sad and it's really unhealthy for us uh, we're, we're just in a sorry, sorry state and we are not united. We're so divided. We can't agree on things and, and, uh, well, I guess the reason is because of sin and because we are not in proper fellowship with God. And then since we're not in proper fellowship with God, then we're not in proper fellowship with each other. And we're not united with each other properly. The reason being is because we're not united with God properly. So then we don't get along. And we don't do things as God wants us to do. We're just doing our own thing. And then when we do our own thing, it doesn't work right. <laughs> so I just kind of wanted to make that known. And just wanted to tell everybody how sad that makes me. And how like just how I don't know I just this part of me inside is just like you know just crying out for proper fellowship with other Christians that you know and I think at one time I experienced that we gathered together as friends and we listened to each other and we allowed people to speak and ask questions and the Holy Spirit was there and we were led and guided by the Holy Spirit 
and people made mistakes and we all got to learn and we all got to grow and we all felt like we belonged and we were all equals and we cared and loved each other but that unfortunately kind of came to an end and and uh and then basically haven't really experienced that again uh i've tried to gather christians together and it just never seems to work out there's always seems to be something that happens and it just and people half the time they don't have the interest in it they they want to gather under these worldly institutionalized style gatherings and have it all so structured they structure god right out of it and the holy spirit yeah god can be in it to some degree but I think a lot of times people leave feeling empty. We got Christians gathering together and they sit there and they listen to some guy speak, whether it's right or wrong or whether he's led by the Holy Spirit or not. They kind of sing a few songs and they just probably don't sing it with all their heart and with all their might and all their strength. They just kind of mumble along and then afterwards they run. They practically all just run away and they don't actually sit around and have fellowship and talk to each other. Because I think people are so unloving and so uncaring. And, and then they're not looking out for other people and attending to other the needs of other people. And I think everybody just goes away feeling empty. Because they just, you know, they're just, it's like a form of, uh, a form of godliness i guess not true godliness it's just a form of gathering not a true gathering fellowship it's just a form of and it's not of god so hopefully some people that i know even may hear this message and might uh decide that they'd like to get together and yeah i know we can all make mistakes and yeah i make mistakes and sometimes i do things i shouldn't have and Maybe I'm partly the reason why, you know, we're not gathering together in unity. But if I, you know, if I have, then I'm sorry. And I just want to get together and, and uh, in the Holy Spirit and have proper fellowship with people. And let's just forgive people and love each other and carry on and, and get together to um, edify and to build each other up. Because it sure don't seem like we're building each other up. It seems like we're tearing each other down and um, and we're not attending to the needs of others, people that are in need. Uh, I think we can be so wrapped up in worldly pursuits and not and thinking of uh, worldly things instead of uh, heavenly things. But anyways, even though that's all going on, you know, God still... He's still there and he's still uh, our strength and hope and and it's only by his power that he can actually cause this to happen. Um, but if we in, individually, if we get on board with his plan and um, then um, that's all we can do individually. And then if uh, individually a bunch of us are all together with God's plan and walking in the spirit and doing as God has willed, then there'll be great power and great things will happen. And we will start to function as a functioning body. And once we start functioning as a functioning body, then the body of Christ, then we will, things will be happening. <laughs> you know, so uh, we can, do more together um, as a team than we can kind of all separated and working individually but God can still do that too but I think he well I know he wants us to be united so anyways I uh, look to God for that to make that happen and uh, I know it's something that I've really been desiring big time uh, for that to happen i love to have fellowship proper fellowship with people and be united in love and joy and peace with people and 
help uh, lift people up and strengthen one another and be lifted up myself. So I really hope that we can do that and I hope that that happens and that happens all over the world because I think the same thing's happening all over the world where all these problems are happening the same everywhere. So I just like to pray with everyone here that uh, we would come in line with God, with the Holy Spirit, that we would allow Jesus to be the head of the church, the head of the body of Christ, to um, be the one that orchestrates each and every one of us individually, each of our actions, each of our um, thoughts, each of our words, and that when he is orchestrating the members of the body, that we would function in harmony and that his will would be done. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. I love you all. Praise Jesus. God bless you.